automatic mode. So now you can see instead of flashing solid, it's going to, like right now it's running full power, it's going to heat up until it hits 167.8. And then the power cuts off. So now there's no power going to it. So the auto-tune will automatically set all the parameters uh, over a little bit of time and keep it from overshooting or undershooting. Uh, basically it's a little computer and it's just going to learn what it needs to do, how much power it needs to put for how many minutes, uh, or for how many seconds, and to hold that temperature as close as possible. So it's going to bracket, so it just overshot by a couple degrees. And so now it's going to go down, and then the next time it won't go up as high. Uh, it'll go up a little bit closer, and it's going to go back and forth until it gets where it dials in at the exact temperature it needs to. Which will be uh, maybe hard to do with as much reflux as it's going, going through it right now because it's dumping a whole lot of cold liquid back down in on top of that. Uh, so it's going to, it's going to make you know, wild temperature changes in the uh, temperature of the liquid inside the pot. People are like, oh, if you run a reflux like this, you're going to lose so much flavor. Uh, and if you do a second, like if I ran all this and just stripped it, and just like got all the alcohol out as fast as I could, and then ran it again, you're going to get a higher proof of alcohol, but because, you know, what causes the flavors is heavy. You know, it's the heavy stuff. Uh, so it will take all the flavor out. That's what vodka is. You know, it's a neutral spirit, no flavor. But running this setup, all the everything that refluxes drips back down into my liquid. So when it when it does distill it again, it's gonna pick the flavor back up when it distills. Now when I run that thumper and those mason jar thumpers, I won't lose any flavor because the flavor, you know, it's not gonna reflux, it's not gonna re-distill. It's just gonna put the flavor, I'm gonna get a higher proof here and then basically that's going to be a infusion, a flavor infuser through each, each mason jar. And one of the recipes I talked to an old guy uh, yesterday for a couple hours, and he gave me a recipe for a vanilla extract. And so I'm going to get vanilla beans, and then I'll put in the very last jar, I'll put vanilla beans in this last jar with the blueberry, and it's going to go through, so I'll have like a blueberry vanilla flavor. Uh, which I'm hoping turns out pretty good. I think it's going to be pretty delicious. So now it's it's starting to drip and get to uh, a little bit more drinkable. Getting rid of a lot of the acetone and some of the other bad stuff. still running about 175 proof so that's still a pretty uh, pretty healthy pretty healthy kick Filter back over it, let it air out. I 
that's running pretty hot right now, maybe a little warmer than uh, you want. You want a fast drip if it turns into a stream. I definitely want to slow it down, but it's still a, a fact you can see, you know, the different uh, actual droplets. I've got a pretty good size condenser on there, so it'll uh, knock down the, the vapor. The, the biggest thing is you want to make sure of is that this vapor coming out is cool. And this vapor coming out is probably about 80 degrees, a little bit under room temperature, so it's fine. Like if that vapor starts to warm up where it feels warm to the touch, uh, or where any steam's coming out, then definitely running too fast and you'd want to slow it down.